Restart by Gordon Corman. Chapter 15. Brendan Espinoza. Of all the video clubs in the middle schools, she has to walk into mine. The minute Kimberly Tooley showed up in Ms. DeLeo's room, I was lost. Love at first sight. For me. Unfortunately, not for her. I mean, she's in love, all right, with Chase. A few months ago, it would have been easy for me to hate Chase. But he's a different person since his accident. And the more I get to know him, the more I like him. Now, what am I supposed to do? Hate someone I like because of pure jealousy? That's just as unfair as when Chase used to pick on me. Maybe more, since he truly seems to have no idea that Kimberly likes him. How annoying is that? I'd lie down on railroad tracks for an ounce of her attention. And here's Chase, totally oblivious to the fact that she's practically drooling over him. Exactly how hard did that kid fall on his head? So, I've got Kimberly in my video club. Okay, I don't own it, but I'm the president. It's a golden opportunity for me to make an impression on her. And who's sucking all the air out of the room? Our rising star, Chase. I've got no one but myself to blame. I recruited him. I raved about his camera skills. When others wanted to keep him out, I shouted them down. Slowly but surely, they all began to accept and appreciate him. Even Shoshana isn't quite so anti-Chase anymore. Their project on Mr. Solway is coming out fantastic. I've seen some of the footage and it's going to blow the judges away. Their biggest problem is they're shooting so much great material that it's going to be impossible to figure out what to cut. And that opens an opportunity. With Shoshana and Chase wrapped up in their war hero and the others focused on the video yearbook, all I have to do is get Kimberly to work with me on a new clip for YouTube. Then she'll start to see me as the famous YouTuber I'm destined to be, not the 8th grade nerd she finds so much less interesting than Chase. It's foolproof. No, she says. Why not? I wheedle. It'll be a great chance for you to practice your camera work. Is it for the yearbook? It's way better. It's for YouTube. And your name will be right on the top as co-producer. No, she says again. In total desperation, I blurt. Chase is going to be there. The change is instant. Really? Guess what? She's in. Now all I have to do is convince Chase to sign on with us. Come to think of it, the purpose of this is to turn her off Chase and on to me. I don't think I'm going about that the right way. This whole romance thing is way more complicated than I anticipated. But when I approach Chase, he's not that enthusiastic either. You know, I don't have a lot of free time, he tells me. Shoshana and I are really busy with Mr. Solway. I'm pleading now. You've got to help me out. Kimberly begged me to take her along. And you know how lousy she is with the camera? If you don't come, the whole video is going to be upside down. He sighs. All right, Brendan, I'll be there. By now, the project is leaving a bad taste in my mouth. Luckily, it's an amazing idea. It's called Leaf Man. I know that when Kimberly sees me starring in this, she'll be impressed. It could very well be the video that finally takes me viral. We meet in the park the next day after school. I've got everything we need. A morph suit, rollerblades, and 11 bottles of pancake syrup. I hand Kimberly camera one and Chase camera two, though I'm pretty sure Chase's footage will be the real video. Anything usable Kimberly shoots will be a happy accident. I duck behind a tree and take out the morph suit. To my dismay, it's white. I specifically told mom to get black. I'm gonna like a bowling pin in front of Kimberly, but it's too late to fix that now. I put on the suit and the rollerblades and glide back to Chase and Kimberly. All right, you guys, dump the syrup all over me. If the goal is to get Kimberly to notice me, mission accomplished. Why? She asks, wide-eyed. I point to the far end of the park, to the giant mountain of leaves the gardeners have blown into the corner. I cover myself in sticky syrup and blur the blade down the hill into the leaves. When I come out, it's Leaf Man. She's bewildered. Who's Leaf Man? I'm Leaf Man. All the leaves are going to be stuck on the syrup, see? And the video will be called Leaf Man, so... Chase takes pity on me. It's going to be awesome. He opens one of the bottles and pours a thick stream over my head. Even through the morph suit fabric, it feels gooey and gross. The things I do for my art. And Kimberly, of course. 
although that doesn't seem to be working too well. Eleven bottles later, I'm covered in this stuff and starting to draw flies. All right, I say, let's do this. Confession. I'm not the greatest roller blader in the world, and I can't get up the hill. I keep rolling back farther than I make it forward. They have to haul me to the top. Kimberly me, drag me by the wrists, and Chase pushing from behind. We get some strange looks, although we're nowhere near the number we're bound to attract when we shoot the actual video. Production is put on hold a few minutes, while my camera people wash the stickiness off their hands and get into position by the leaf pile. At last, Chase flashes me the high sign, and I ease my weight off the foot brake and sense the slope starting to move me slowly forward. The slowly part doesn't last very long. The acceleration happens much faster than I expected. In a few seconds, I'm hurtling down the path at dizzying speed. Proper roller rollerblade form says I should crouch for better balance, but I'm too scared to bend my locked knees. I actually feel the G-forces forming the syrup on my face into thin streams. With a sinking heart, I realize that this video may go even more viral than I thought. Not as Leaf Man, but as Kid breaks every bone in his body in goo-drenched rollerblade stunt. Through the brownish film of syrup, I spot Kimberly and Chase on either side of the mountain of leaves. Flip cams pointed at me. At least Chase's is pointed at me. Kimberly seems to be filling the air above my head. Then they're gone and all I can see is a leaf pile barreling toward me. I hit the leaves with a foof and end up buried at least four feet inside the mountain before my momentum stops. I lie there for a moment, stunned, listening to the muffled sound of Chase laughing from the outside world. It takes a long time to fight my way out of the mess, because a lot of the mess is coming with me, stuck by syrup to the morph suit. When I rip the leaves off my face, I see that the pile is about a third as big as it used to be, and the sky is dancing with blowing debris. With blowing debris. As soon as I can breathe, I finish the script by thrusting a fist in the air and bellowing, Leaf Man! I never quite get the second syllable out because I'm bowled over by a big golden retriever who climbs on top of me, licking at the syrup. I can already hear the chorus of barking, and I know that every dog in the park is headed in my direction. At least they'll keep the flies at bay. I struggle up and try to skate away, but the leaves on my blades are jammed with syrup-soaked leaves. I take three clumsy steps before landing flat on my face, and I'm immediately buried under a canine swarm. I'm gratified to see that Chase is still filming, his hand steady even though he's doubled over with hilarity. I don't get it, Kimberly says over the dog slurping. Is this supposed to be funny? The amazing thing is that after all this, I still like Kimberly just as much as before. Maybe even more. Love isn't just blind, it's also totally stupid.